What's up guys? Hope your day is going well so far. While we sit and wait for some semblance of good news when it comes to spot Bitcoin ETFs, charts are consolidating. We're still finding some retracement. We're kind of pulling back to close, at least close to levels where we fell on the big drop from a couple days ago. Now there's something specific that is playing out in the ICP charts that I kind of want to identify with you guys and show you what some of our levels may be, what, what kind of support we have. And I will say right now, we're actually creating a little bit of a bullish formation. It might seem kind of weird because obviously we are, again, going through some consolidation, going through some retracement here, but that's okay. We can see we've broken through some of these moving averages in terms of these, these hourlies, right? The, the 20, the 50, the 100 hour moving averages. And now we've actually kind of bounced around this this 200 hour moving average. You can see I have that circled here and we're, we're starting to gain a little bit of ground back. Now we'll have to see if this trend continues here, but we're back down around this range that we felt support before. This That's this big box. This is between basically 1250 and, and $13. And this is uh, a very strong range, right? Basically since December 31st or December 30th or whenever it was, this is where we've been able to essentially hold above. Now, I will say if we do get some more negativity in the market, if we don't get news today, the charts continue to consolidate, BTC continues to pull back, we again are targeting that $11 to $11.50 range. Again, you can look long-term, you can see that you know we have used this as basically a bounce point several times. You can see that we actually did it, what, all the way back here, at uh, early December, we did it again here. At mid-December, we did it again at around the 20th, okay? So this is something that's consistently played out. So at some point, I believe that this big blue spike on here, we are in fact going to see it. Now, as always, this is not financial advice. There's no guarantees, but this is the kind of move I've seen with many, many charts in the past. Typically, they happen in, in bull market cycles. We're kind of just entering the bull market, but I've seen coins specifically go to either 17 cents or $17 or trace down to around this 12 to $11 range before continuing their run. Again, remember, there's not a lot of uh, ICP that's available in the open market. We're not fighting through big ranges of liquidity or anything like that. This move to the upside can happen very, very quickly. All right. If this news comes out and it's positive, I expect that we could see a massive surge in price. We could start trying to push through and target those $20 to $22 levels like we talked about. But obviously, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. That's kind of what I'm paying attention to today. Hopefully, this holds because I had to refilm this once. We we broke through some of our other levels. We had to create new, new charts basically to, to support what we're saying, right? But we just got to be patient. Remember, this is the early, early bull market, guys. This is giving us more opportunities. If you if you you know wanted ICP and you first saw it at fifteen dollars, guess what? There's an opportunity now to get it around twelve, thirteen dollars. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below. As always, this is not financial advice, but we'll see how the day plays out. Have a great day. Ooh, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.